Hey guys, this is The Great Gamer. Today we're going to be doing an iPhone 5C water test. Because this one cannot activate. And if I try again, watch what happens. It says no SIM card installed. And even if I put a SIM card in this, it still doesn't work. It's on Sprint. As it will look like it will activate, but then it will always fail. See, it, I had to restore it from 9.3.1 to 10.3.3 because I thought it would work because I thought the iOS version was bad. And it was a scam on Macari, by the way, so I guess. And, but I got my refund. So since this is a scam phone, let's just... And the seller wasn't very reputable with the item. So let's just dunk it in the water. Let's turn on voiceover for this. Voiceover on, set up, back alert, C cancel, back button. Okay, it's in water now. Let's test some of the functions under there. Could still hear the speaker. Wish I had a stopwatch on this thing. Whoa, it just took a screenshot. I think it's because it's just a tight enclosure. But as you could see, the phone. Let's see the phone after like 30. Try again. Your iPhone could not be activated because the activation server is temporary. Try again. So, back button. Alert. No SIM card installed. Okay. Okay. Set up. Back button. 87% battery. Whoa, it's touching. It's touching. Could not activate. Oh wait, the, what? The touch screen's working underwater a little bit. It's a 16 gigabyte, by the way. Okay, so let's actually get some water in it when it hits three minutes. this let's submerge it let's submerge it oh no hopefully it doesn't call emergency service try again try again back button next button enabled alert no SIM card See how fast water can get in that way. Let me take a look. No, 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 no. There, can you see it now, guys? Let's see if any water... What is this thing, waterproof? I want to try the opposite way, where the logic board is. Ooh! Ooh, do you see that? What the hell language is it speaking? Next button enabled. Set up. Emergency call. Button. No! Die! Hello, voiceover off. Voiceover on. Power. Hey. Is it still working? 
setup. Alert. No SIM card installed. Alert. Emergency call. Alert. No SIM card installed. Oh crap, that scared me. Alert. Emergency call. No SIM card installed. Alert. Emergency call. Alert. No SIM card in- Alert. Emergency call. Button. This thing feels heavy. Like, look how fast it dunks in the water. Let's see if it still works. Oh, what? It's coming back to life. Is it restarting? I don't... Oh, whoops. I don't hear voiceover anymore. Well, that's a pretty wallpaper for the water. Let's take a look at this. So yeah, it's a fancy new... Oh, you could hear water in it. What? How the hell? Does touchscreen still work? Let me dry it off and make sure. No. Like it's still Hello. press home to open button alert no sim card installed i could still hear it Don't call emergency services. I'm warning you, thing. I swear to freaking God, if this thing calls. Let me just mute the mic just so. Oh, it's vibrating. I'm gonna get back to you guys with a little bit of a more extreme water test. Okay guys, I'm sorry, but I couldn't do the extreme water test because the phone died right after recording this. And as you could see, oh wait, there's not really that much moisture in the camera, but I saw a lot. I still see a little bit of moisture actually in there. So what am I gonna be doing now? Well, I'm gonna be Doing a little tear down. Not a big one, but a little bit of a tear down to see which components got water damaged. So, first, I'm going to start at the bottom one. Oops. The bottom fill up. School uh, screw if it will come out. Hold on, guys. Let me cut to when I'm when I've um just about opened it up. Okay, guys, so I'm back. I'm whoops. Didn't mean to drop that. I'm gonna disassemble the phone now. And see what's under here. And you can see. Let, let's just take a closer look at this. 
Well, it's probably because I shook the water out of it, but you can see the indicator's red, everything's wet. So yeah, this thing's a goner, probably. I don't know, it might come back to life, who knows? But yeah, I don't really have much interest in bothering to fix it since it was just a scam. Sorry if I've been saying that a lot in the video. It's just, it was and I got my refund. So let me just clean it off a little. And then now I'm gonna put it back together. And it's back together, as you can see right there. Now, this is the very end of the video. I'm going to get back to you when I've screwed everything back in. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And as you can see, it's fully put back together. All the screws are in. And it still doesn't work. So, one thing I can try is plugging in for a short amount of time. Ooh, I see some life. Oh, never mind. Boy, I see some life. But yeah, this thing's still pretty much a goner. I'm just gonna wipe off my charger before plugging it into my nice iPod. So yeah, since this thing's pretty much a goner, the battery probably went bad. So yeah. Um, okay guys, and that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more content like this, and bye!